to calculate the average speed of a car which travelled 80 miles in 2 hours and 30 minutes. So when we work out speed, okay, we learn in science that speed is simply the measure of distance okay, divided by time. So we often hear, don't we, speed is miles per hour. So how many miles can we travel in an hour? So we can use the triangle. You might have seen this in science, where if you want speed, you cover that up, and then you, you can see then we've got to divide distance on top, time on bottom. So distance divided by time. So in this case, the distance is 80, and the time is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Now, of course, we can't write 2 hours and 30 minutes here, and we can't put that in our calculator. So we need to think of 2 hours, 30 minutes, it's like half of an hour, isn't it? We often say two and a half hours. So we'd write that as a decimal then, 2.5, okay? So we'd work that out, and we would get our answer then to be 32 miles per hour, okay? Question two then, it says, Anna travelled 200 miles by car from Preston to Bristol. Her car clock showed the time to be 13.25 at the start of her journey. She stopped at the motorway services at 3.40, and at four or five, she continued her journey. When she arrived, the time on her clock showed 17.50. Calculate her average speed whilst driving. So we need the total distance, and we know the distance is 200 miles, okay? We also need the total time, but we've got to take away the time that she spent in the services. So if we look at the start of her journey was 13.25 and the end of her journey was 17.50 so that time difference there is from 13 to 17 is 4 hours and from 25 to 50 is 25 minutes so the total time there between start and end is 4 hours and 25 minutes but she had a stop she stopped at 3.40 and then continued at 4 or 5. So she had a break from there to there. That's 25 minutes. So we want to take that out of the equation. Okay, because that doesn't count. It's part of the driving time. So we can dismiss that 25 minutes. And she was driving for a total of 4 hours. So the speed then, as we said before, is distance divided by time. So the distance is 200. The time is 4. And we get 50 miles per hour.